The gopher tortoise is a threatened species in Louisiana. The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries keeps a close eye on these reptiles in St. Tammany, Washington, and Tangipahoe parishes. But now, with the help of the Natural Resources Conservation Service, children across the state might have a chance to see one in the wild. On a winding road outside of Amy, Louisiana, where the trees stand straight and tall, a totem pole will greet you at the entrance to Camp Whispering Pines. I have a 650-acre office. Jason Brown is the ranger here. He maintains his 650-acre office so that more than a 1,000 Girl Scouts can visit each year. When these girls come here, you can tell it's making an impact on them. But another visitor made quite an impact on Brown. He was actually right here. We drove in. And he was coming from over there, so we stopped, and I got out and took the pictures. And as I took the pictures, he kind of went around that stump and went right back in where that dog is. He is a gopher tortoise, a threatened species in Louisiana. Really, I was amazed, man, to see something that big because he was bigger than a basketball, you know. Species like that, they prefer right. not so thick and competitive. Right. Brandon Bates is a district conservationist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. He and NRCS state wildlife biologist Troy Malik work with Brown to make Camp Whispering Pines inviting not only to Girl Scouts, but to the gopher tortoise as well. They're basically almost like a poster child for our programs and what we're trying to do and uh, get other people to join in and seeing the benefit of doing our uh, conservation practices. Bates says Brown is using the conservation stewardship program and the environmental quality incentives program to make this longleaf pine forest more inviting to the gopher tortoise. How, you might ask? The scorch marks on the tree should give you a hint. What the fire does is, you know, basically clear out the uh, hardwood so the sunlight can hit the ground so the grass can start sprouting out which is food for the gopher tortoise and a lot of other wildlife. So when you in integrate prescribed burning into that you get to burn it on the on the forge, cut down on the competition and you get that new growth in and that's the new growth that of course like I said deer, uh, quail, turkeys, uh, gopher tortoise and etc. Those are the things that they eat. So it's a happy ending for the gopher tortoise. He has a place to live. But what about the horror stories you hear about people finding endangered animals on their land? You know, where the government tells them what they can and cannot do there? Well, the NRCS Working Lands for Wildlife program addresses that. We don't want a landowner to be concerned that if they get endangered species, there may be some restrictions on their property because now they have an endangered species. So the idea behind the program was to make sure landowners would be exempt from any restrictions um, and, and could still do the conservation measures. So we're seeing it work um, with the gopher tortoise. We're planning um, to expand the program into the western part of the state with the Louisiana pine snake next year. Something both Malik and Brown talked about is how helping create habitat for the gopher tortoise also helps other animals. Brown says since he began working with the NRCS at Camp Whispering Pines, he's seen an increase in turkeys, quail, and woodcock. If you would like to learn more about the NRCS, you can visit our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, the red carpet treatment is just days away for some Louisiana farmers. Are you registered? But first, falcons, patriots, and agriculture. It's a trending on Twyla worthy of the Super Bowl. Stay with us. <laughs>